Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve lead code problem 1653 minimum deletions to make string balanced. Uh, so as you can see the like and dislike ratio this is a very likable problem and very popular problem so we will solve this problem today and this is of a medium complexity problem on lead code. If you are new to my channel I want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people in their Java j 2 and coding interviews. You will find lots of helpful videos on my channel that can help your Java and coding interview preparation. There are over 400 different varieties of solved coding problems which are taken from previously asked coding interview questions by Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Yahoo and many other big financial clients. Uh, so if you uh, want to practice for your coding interviews or your Java interviews, uh, this channel can definitely help you in that. So please subscribe to this channel now. So let's start uh, going through the minimum deletions to make string balance problem description. Then uh, I'll explain you what the problem is and we'll see how we can solve this problem with few examples and then we will implement our Java solution for this problem. Right? So let's start. You are given a string S consisting only of characters A and B. You can delete any number of characters in string to make S balanced. S is balanced if there is no pair indices ij such that i is less than j and si is equal to b and sj is equal to a. What, what this means is you have some characters like, like all the characters in the string all the a's are coming before b's basically right then it is a balanced string correct. So uh, they will be giving us like um, uh, some kind of a string and we have to check if it's not balanced then we have to delete some characters to make that string balanced right and we have to return minimum number of deletions that are required to make it balanced right so as you can see this is one example they have given so as you can see this is a balanced string right so all the a's are appearing before b's you can see right all the a's appear before b's so let us take one example here so um, we will understand uh, more about this problem. So as you can see this is not a balanced string because there are A's which are like uh, uh, for the string to be balanced all A's should appear before B. So now these two A's are not appearing before uh, all the B's right because B's are appearing here. So B's are appearing before these A's. So uh, definitely this string is not a balanced string so we have to make this string balanced. So uh, first let's understand, uh, first visually understand what the balanced string will be, right? So for example, one way to make this string balanced is, uh, uh, I can remove these three characters, right? Then this string is balanced now, right? Because A, uh, then A, A and B, B, right? So all A's are appearing before all B's. So how many deletions we did? We did three deletions for this, right? And we, we, uh, we are able to make this string balanced. Now what is another way? Now another way is I can uh, rather than that I can just remove these two A's right. Now also the remaining string is balanced. Now it is A, B, B, B and B, B right. So in this case we only did two deletions right of these two A's and then it made the string balanced right. So we have to find out a way where we can do minimum number of deletions correct. Uh, because we can do uh, any number of deletions. So now uh, we, for example, we deleted A. We can also delete B also. String this remaining uh, string is still a balanced string, right? This is still a balanced string. So I did four deletions in this case. We have to find out a way where we wanted to uh, do only minimum number of deletions, right? So kind of optimization problems. So uh, let's. Uh, uh, now we will discuss how we can solve this problem right. So uh, what we will do is let us uh, take like one variable called as prefix right. Prefix is a variable let us call that prefix it will we will just take one variable we will assign it 0 in the beginning right. And then we will take another variable called as now total uh, number of minimum deletions that we are making right in the beginning it is 0 right. So um, let's start now. So what, what we will do is we will go character by character from this string from left to right. We will go character by character. Uh, when we are finding any B, we will increment the prefix value, right? We will increment the prefix value. And if we are finding any A which has, uh, and at that time, if there is a prefix value which is more than zero, then we will 
decrement prefix value so you will understand this when we go through this example so uh, we uh, started at this character a so uh, the prefix value is not greater than zero right so we will just move on to next character so next character is b so we will increment the prefix value so prefix value become one so next character is again b so prefix value became two right again b so whenever b is there we will increment prefix value is three correct now when we reach this character a we will check if prefix value is greater than zero yes it is greater than zero so we will decrement this prefix value in this case right so we'll decrement it to two means decrement by one right and at the same time we'll increment our total count of deletions by one so total became one right again we reach at this a now again we will check if the prefix is it greater than zero yes so we will decrement it by one and we will increment total by one right so total became two after that again we reach b when we reach b we will increment the prefix count correct so prefix count become two when we reach again this b we will increment prefix count right prefix count became three we are at the end of this string right so we went through the complete string we will at the end we will just return our total as our answer right so this is minimum number of deletions that are required right and why does this logic work because what we are doing here is whenever we are seeing a we will keep checking the prefix value right and we will reduce the prefix value uh, only uh, when we have a prefix value greater than zero right then only we will do this operation of reducing prefix value and incrementing total this is one operation right so reducing prefix value and incrementing total is one operation right so we will only do that operation when prefix is greater than zero which means that we have more b's than number of a's which means that we uh, want to because we want to minimize the number of deletions right so that uh, that's why uh, this logic works you know because prefix value greater than zero means that we already have more b's uh, if we want to um, delete number of b's then we are going to delete more b's than what we are going to delete number of a's basically right so uh, this is why the logic works actually and uh, it will give us the answer of minimum number of deletions right so this is one example we'll take this example when we'll run our test cases uh, another example is this one let's just take a look at uh, this uh, case also so first we'll just uh, look visually so one way to make this string balanced is i can remove these two a's right then this string is balanced so this is now a a b b b uh, or the other way is i can remove the, these two a's then uh, sorry these two a's uh, and this b right so now three deletions we have done and then again this remaining string is balanced we want to minimize number of deletions right uh, otherwise the other way to minimize is i can just delete this b right now i only have done one deletion now and the remaining string which is a a a a b b is a balanced string right so minimum number of deletions we can do is one in this case right so now let's go and uh, take our approach and let's see so again we will have two variables right one is called as prefix right so prefix is zero in the beginning and total number of minimum deletions right so total number of minimum deletions so total is also zero in the beginning right so we will again start going one by one character a we don't have prefix greater than zero so we will just go to the next character which is again a our prefix is not greater than zero so we'll go to b b we will increment our prefix by one so b now prefix becomes one now when we reach a we will check if the prefix is greater than zero yes now we will perform our operation and what is our operation we will decrement the prefix by one so prefix becomes zero and total we will increment by one right so this operation we have done now we are at this a now uh, we will check if prefix is greater than zero no so we will just go to next character b right now we will increment the prefix by one so prefix becomes one this for this b also the prefix we will increment the prefix becomes two we are at the end of this string which is the given string to us we will just return the total value right so number of deletions uh, minimum is one in this case right 
so with these two examples and with this logic i think uh, uh, you got the idea how we can implement and solve this problem uh, so we are not using any kind of a heavy data structures or anything just simply uh, we are going to go through the string once and follow this logic so let's take a look at the java solution for this logic so um, here first we are going to calculate the length of the given string into l right then prefix we have defined prefix is zero total number of deletions is zero here these are the two variables after that this for loop we are going to go through the given string as character by character and as i mentioned you whenever we see a b character we will just increment the value of prefix and if we are seeing a character and if the value of prefix is greater than zero right in that case we have to decrement the prefix and increment the total deletions right so this is one operation but that will only happen if this condition is met right so only if character is a and prefix is greater than zero what it means is we are see we have seen uh, b's before a's basically right we have seen uh, b's before a's that's what it means right so uh, after we go through this whole for loop at the end we will just get our total deletions uh, here that is total number of minimum deletions we have to do to make the string balanced and we'll just return that as our answer uh, so this is the way we can solve this minimum deletions problem so uh, let's just go ahead and take some examples so uh, let's take this example so here like a b b b a a b b right a b b b a a b b right so this is the example that we are taking now right now so we are expecting two as our answer so let's go ahead and uh, give it a shot so as you can see we are getting correct answer here let's take this another example we have seen a a b a a so a a b a a and then b b b b right so let's execute this so we are getting one which is the correct answer right as we found here so let's take their examples what they have given us here they have given us two examples so we'll just take their examples and make sure it works against them so we are getting correct answers for the, these examples as well so let's go ahead and submit this solution So our solution is almost 70% better in performance and 43% better on memory side. So let's talk uh, quickly about the time and space complexity. So time complexity is we are not using any data structures. We are simply looping through the string once, right? So this is just time complexity is order of n, right? Because we are going through the string once. So time complexity for this solution is O n and the space complexity right space complexity we are not using any data structures or anything so we are just simply using uh, variables so it is constant or order of one they say it so this is constant no specific data structures or anything used here so this is a very good solution for this problem of minimum deletions to make string balanced uh, so uh, most of the times if you uh, come across this kind of problems like related to strings or something either you can think about logic like this or there can be some kind of two pointer approach or something you can use to solve those problems. Uh, so I hope uh, you understood this problem well with these examples and this Java solution. Java solution is very easy to understand once you understand the approach of uh, I mean to say logic to solve this problem. If you are new to my channel, there is a dedicated playlist called as Lead Code and Lint Code Solutions on my channel, which has over 200 different varieties of solved coding problems explained with whiteboarding session examples and Java code for your easier understanding. Apart from that, there are three other main coding playlists you will find uh, very helpful. The names are Code Forces, Code Chef, and Add Coder. So all in all, this uh, playlist has over 400 different varieties of solved coding problems which constitute very important coding questions varieties such as DFS, BFS, matrix problems, graph problems, binary search tree problems, coding problems related to li linked list strings, optimization problems that can be solved using priority queues, 
lots of other logical questions that can be solved with different data structures such as set, map, uh, queues, stacks. So you will get vast varieties of uh, problems that you can practice and definitely will be helpful in your Java and coding interviews. If you are simply uh, preparing for your Java initial rounds or uh, telephonic screening rounds, then there is a playlist called as Java interviews where you will find lots of uh, helpful uh, questions that are generally asked in the telephonic rounds of Java quest, uh, interviews and <clears throat> how to answer those questions is also explained uh, in those playlists. Apart from that, there are some other interesting videos on Java architecture, Java design patterns as well as some Java string related coding questions that are asked in telephonic rounds is also there. So uh, this channel can be definitely help you in your Java J2E and interview preparation. If you like this video, if you find this video helpful and if this video help you in understanding this problem in an easier and better way, then please give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel. Your subscription to the channel is really important for the channel because that is the way the videos can reach to more people who need help in solving coding problems. One of the main goal of the channel is to help people. Some people find it difficult to uh, solve coding problems. So those people can watch these videos and get help in understanding how to approach different coding problems uh, using different data structures and different logic and how to apply different libraries uh, classes of Java to solve different coding problems. So if you like this video and if it uh, help you uh, this whiteboarding session coding uh, and examples it would help you uh, to easily understand this problem uh, then please give it a like also write in the comments if this whiteboarding sessions and examples help you in understanding the problem in a better way because I am looking for a feedback from you guys about like if this is helping to you guys to uh, understand the problems in a better way because uh, you know uh, it takes a lot of efforts to create this video so i want to get to uh, like the feedback from the audience if it is helping them or not so please write in the comments if it has helped you also if you have any friends who are preparing for java j2 interviews or simply learning java share this video with, with them they can also uh, learn from these videos and understand how, how to uh, solve different problems and get help during their interviews uh, if you have any questions related to this problem uh, please put your questions below the description section uh, also the java solution code that we discussed for this solution i am going to share it with you in my github account where uh, you can get it from the github account uh, you know and uh, play with the code with different examples and understand it better uh, also if you like these java solutions there are other java solutions as well on my github account if you like these solutions please consider giving it a star on the github project so that will be helpful uh, thanks for watching this video.